What's up everybody, it's Critical. I truly believe that of all the shit that exists on the internet, the hardest videos to watch all the way through are bad rap battles. Gore, torture, that's all pussy shit compared to bad rap battles. So I found this one and this one was, this one was a real doozy. It's from a channel called Upcoming Rappers in Ireland, and it's kind of an old video so I wouldn't be surprised if the two MCs that duked it out here are already touring with Kanye West. But regardless, this is their humble beginning, so let's watch it together. 60 right. seconds on Yaz, go for it. Right, Talita Sykes as he often sees a fucking dyke, right? Yaz gets off to an explosive start, really setting the ass kick and tempo right away, calling her a dyke, going right for the throat. I'm also going to let you all know that for some reason they decided to rap battle at 8 o'clock at night as it's starting to get dark and it's just going to get progressively darker throughout the video until it's just complete blackness and you can't see anything. So just prepare yourself for that. Also their accents are extremely thick which may make it difficult to understand them at certain parts so make sure you have your Google Translate out and ready. So here, you're so fat you can't even put a top around the waist. Do you know what? Even if it was fucking late. Yeah, you're a fucking disgrace. Your ex said they had taste your mouth when they were kissing you and it tastes like fucking cookie. So do you know what having me back? Oh no, just getting me out. The phone's ringing and all. Fresh breath. I got it especially for you. Right? So now. So the rhymes are awful. You can already see that. Waste, disgrace, you have taste, wind man, your breath smells. Just the longest build-up to the most disappointing insult, the most juvenile insult. You have smelly breath. I have better breath spray in my purse. Here you go. It's fucking awful. You are not kill. I wouldn't even fucking drill. Looking at you, I've met boards before, but looking at you, you're a fucking dyke. I'm the one that's better on the fucking mic. Yeah? I've got eight tracks, and people already fucking know me. Who the fuck are you? I don't even know you to the day that they told me I was going to battle an MC called Tanita Sykes. Yeah, yikes. Most of her lines don't rhyme, and the ones that she does rhyme are just very childish ones. It sounds like my mom trying to do a rap battle with me when I was a little kid and going through that phase where I wanted to be a rapper. <laughs> right? Look at the chain, yeah, it's fucking fake. Plastic, plastic, I fucking wanna be a plastic. Really scraping the bottom of the smegma barrel this time around, she's just insulting her chain. Plastic, spastic, it wants to be elastic. There's really not much to say to that. That line is so shitty, I think it speaks for itself. Here's my advice to all up-and-coming rap battlers, coming from the grandmaster of rap battling, me. If you can't think of rhymes to insult the person, don't even try. At least just make rhymes in general. It doesn't have to make sense either in any context. Touching my dick while I'm grabbing my nuts. Can't help it when I see those female butts. Just something. <laughs> Looking at fucking you with pink in your hair. I wanna be a punk rocker with flowers in my hair. Oh wait, where's the flowers? Say, don't have a dick. Toy, yeah. toy, toy. Well, I give you a little dirty ass. Congratulations, you've now made it through one of Yaz's rounds here. There will be two more, so brace yourself, because that's only a small taste of the fucking train wreck that is her rhymes. And Tanita isn't much better, spoiler alert. Yo, I'm Tanita Sykes. This is my first rap battle. Yikes, but I came here to fight and make a skank take flight. And maybe small, but I'm going to mind. Like Yoda and I catch a load of helm. Super and over. If you try to make a mockery out of me, I'll make you feel as small as a sea monkey. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's as good as this rap battle is going to get. That's the best line in there. I'll make you feel small as a sea monkey. So yeah, wipe your asshole with that toilet paper. Your guys, you trash and you belong in the bin because your face looks like a mortal sin. And I want to go for the next minutes because I know I'm already winning. Before my rapping had even begun, my style got yours compared to a nun. I take you home for a cup of tea after the shock of battling me, but you probably scare my mom. You feel the force and discretion and brain information got the exit insulation, no information, so let me be in interrogations. You know, interpretation of sissy to map, but your alliteration. Your improvisation things are all degradation, but you know, our education, that's your allegation. Your life for me needs an alteration. It ain't impressed our generation, just oppressing the nation. Best off you get an assassination because the only way you'll ever get notice is to your last breath and faking your own death people may have told you shit about me but at least someone takes the time to speak freely about my identity these haters make me famous but you'll always be nameless because people just couldn't care less you go around thinking and saying it's top notch but you really ended this game as a cry for some crotch and your time is the only dove and girl rap battle is up by my watch <laughs> i understood about six words during all of that it's pretty much she's rehearsed this a million times you can clearly tell that she has said this to herself in the mirror for hours and hours until she perfected it. And it's still absolute horse shit. She's just quickly having mouth diarrhea. It's not impressive. It's not good. 
right. <laughs> Round two on yes. That's your head. Here we go. Before I start this <laughs> I'm bringing me voicemail. I like how the guy tried to step in. Whoa, wait a minute. Don't be going to your phone looking up good rap verses. Uh-uh. You're going to sit here and embarrass yourself. No, no, no. I'm just checking my voicemail. And I'm putting on loudspeaker so you can all hear. Hell, yeah. Hold on, that's another message of one sec till I go on to the next one. Right? Next one. Tania, it's like ringing me. I don't even know how she has me number. So I'll go. This girl thinks she can rap. She's a fucking sap. She Her plan there crashed and burned, and it was a horrible plan to begin with. I guess she wanted to pull up a voicemail from her mother who said she was a good rapper, so that way she had empirical evidence that she is indeed a good rapper. But she hit the wrong voicemail initially, and then she hit the wrong voicemail again. It says, please try again. You can hear it. She doesn't know how to use her fucking voicemail. She's a Neanderthal when it comes to technology. Wasting a whole bunch of time, and then she gets right back on her saddle of shitty rhymes. You don't even know how to rap. You're a sap. Fucking calm down there, Tommy Pickles. Whoa, rhymes like that. Holy shit. I, I, maybe it's a little more difficult, because I just don't understand the accents, and maybe these are good rhymes. I don't know. Oi, your rhymes come from the pooper. I swear to God, you're not super duper. That, well, that's, I guess that's more Scottish. I'm, I'm not good at accents. You can't. She rehearsed all that. I'm doing it on straight freestyle. Yeah, I'm doing it straight out. You're a fucking dyke. <laughs> yeah, hold on and I just get this on the fucking mic. Calling her a dyke for the third time and then resorting to the exact same rhyme for the third time. Dyke, Mike. It's brilliant. Truly incredible work. And I appreciate her determination here. She's not giving up on the awful voicemail thing. She's still going for it. So I respect it. <laughs> oh, I'm for fucking real. Who is she? She can't see the deal. She rehearsed all that, said it so fast. Here, do you know what? The ex said she had an earthquake. Yeah, do you know why? Because she was fucking running for her lunch break. So <laughs> <laughs> you get. <laughs> this girl has pink in her hair. She's looking at me, staring. She wants a bit of me. She's fuck pussy. Can't you yeah, see? But your name yeah. is never gonna go. I liked how the puppet master of this abomination was just staring at the stopwatch. Those seconds couldn't count down fast enough to get Yaz to stop rapping. That was about the cutest thing I've ever seen in a rap battle. <laughs> Dude, just come on, guys. Can we be respectful here? It was like a kid at show and tell, but the kids wouldn't stop talking to each other when he was really passionate about what he was presenting to the class. Oh, come on, guys. Can I, can I talk now? You know. Be gone wrong. If I said you're an anyway talent, I'd be a liar. Let's see if you're a public cry and I go chat to Oprah about how your career is also retires. And to me, your words are so relevant to your walking, talking, speech impediments. I can't stress how much you need some help with your diction and every punchline you wrote. Me, don't bother because we all know that they're fiction. Trump and after meeting you, I felt the pride to be from this out. Like, so you definitely didn't see the ballet last I'm night. And when that. I saw that your sign, I thought was beyond severe. You blinded out of my mind. Here you apply for Jervis's next top model. Good luck as catwalks ain't nice to white girls that waddle. <laughs> All right, Busta Rhymes, you're really killing it today. You stole your stage name from some American dude who's got way more views than you on his YouTube. Surprised you haven't already been sued, just scripted like the man who can't be moved. And not to be rude, but your rap presence is just not developing, and the only way I'll ever get in telly is by applying for a big fat gypsy wedding. <laughs> She's really attempting to do some impressive fast rapping, but it is just not working. She sounds like one of those car bitter people. Hibbity hibbity hobbity, do I hear four dollars? Do I hear four dollars? Four 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 four. Except hers is a lot worse because there's some words sprinkled in there, and I can't make out what words they are, and it's making me feel stupid, and I don't like it, and I don't like her for making me feel stupid. Her rhymes are fucking awful. Right? You're a fucking slapper. No one's even clapping for you. Look at you. You're a fucking hoe. Do you know what? Fellas go chasing around for girls like me for look at you. They only want to recognize you because you're a fucking hoe. Yeah. People aren't even laughing at you. They're laughing fucking at you. Yeah.
Well, honestly, that line's a mic drop. That's fucking checkmate right there. Yaz just cornered Tanita and put the nail in the coffin. People aren't laughing at you. They're laughing at you. Yeah? People are laughing with me, as you can see. I rap. You don't even know why you fucking rap. You rap. You have your friends with you because you're a homo. They're your girlfriends. And they're She's fucking you boy. at the fucking homo. Yeah. I'm the one that's handing you. You're on the go. You're a slapper. You can't have what the fuck is a slapper? Have it. No one's gonna give you a clap because you are fucking Egypt. Yeah, you don't know why you're standing there looking straight at me. Because as you can see, you're not fucking straight. You're bent as a fucking doorknob. <laughs> I don't get that comparison. Bent as a doorknob. I don't know if doorknobs are designed differently over in Ireland, but in my area, doorknobs aren't typically bent. That sounds like a damaged doorknob, and if that's the case, you can't really say bent as a doorknob since they're not typically bent. Uh, you could really say that about anything. You're bent as a car that just got into a serious accident and wrapped around a pole. It's just, it's stupid. Yaz, you fucked up. And then she does like a stupid unicorn dab or something on the way out. I don't get it. So, I suggest you give up your day job, whatever it is, because you can't battle. You're a fucking slapper. Yeah, I heard about you. You have the fucking chlamydia. Yeah, I heard about it. That's why I won't even get close to you. Once you mention chlamydia, that's when shit gets serious. I'm gonna skip Tanita's verse because it's the exact same shit. Just fast, incoherent shit. Just mumbling and bumbling. Spoon in a dishwasher with some poon in the moon. And it's so dirty, I'm gonna need a broom. I got some money. Hit rhymes. I'm gonna put you in a tomb. It's just stupid shit, and I don't want to listen to it again. And I don't think any of you want to listen to it either. It's not entertaining. It's just boring and dumb. But you'll never be as theatrical as me. Anyway, here's a dictionary to help you learn how to talk properly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get humped up like you get humped. Woo. <laughs> Yippee. Uh, yeah, I'd like to bestow a little more rap battle wisdom to anyone out there who is an up and coming aspiring Irish rapper. Don't go fast if you can't think of rhymes. Slow down the tempo and give yourself some comfortable room. Yaz's problem is she tried to do it too fast, you know, just make it simple. You got a fucking tit, and it's kind of small. You got some fucking ass cheeks. I can see them all. That nose you're rocking doesn't smell good. Them hoes you're cocking already got my wood. So now we just go to the judges panel, the really in-depth thorough analysis by all of these silhouettes because it's so fucking dark out now you can't see anyone. I study tall out, eh? I think Tanita took that one out. Eh? She just came off the pit and the eyes, eh? Shit happened still in coma. Make sure we cop that, eh? Joe ran as well. Tall out, I dropped the ceiling, eh? And that about sums everything up right there. I'm actually inclined to agree with this judge's description here. I think he just really hit the nail on the head. It truly was just a yanga hamba yaga hey. But the winner goes to Tanita. Yeah! Then they come to an unanimous decision that Tanita wins. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. She may have won the battle, but we all lost some time. That's it. See ya.